From the refs! Welcome to From the Refs. I'm Carmen Belair. Kevin Sabita. We're coming back to you for the third time because Kevin's epic story just get, went on and on. Um, Big Will is not here because this is the uh, last day of the open house and he had to leave early. You can tell mine and Kevin's voices are kind of raw and that's because we've been yelling, screaming, having a great time, uh, running everything, talking with everyone and they're just, they're just getting raw. Um, so please forgive that. Um, Kevin's going to go over the third or the, the uh, excuse me four, uh, four final parts of the yep. six part adventure that he ran. Give you an idea of what it was like so you guys could see what the kind of stuff that was uh, going on at the open house and you know gives you an idea of all the games that were going on at the open house. So uh, I'm just going to immediately leave the floor to him. Go. Thanks Carmen. So anyways I'm running this, this series of adventures. The idea was to have six different game events that were all part of one big story in the aftermath of this old Lord of Slipka tournament game that I've run many many times. So we left off where the adult dragon had been, daddy dragon had been sent to fight Belloc, the Soul Stealer, the idea being that one will kill the other and the other yep. will be so weakened that our heroes can pounce and, and destroy him. And it was a good idea, um, a very good idea. Uh, so the next group picks up with that scenario because each group is playing the same the same characters. So did, did you set that up or was that oh, just yeah. as they ended, wherever they stopped was where they had to pick up? Like you didn't like kind of have to tweak it and rewrite it in um, between? I, yeah, I, 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 when I play, I try to play very flexible games, and I, I like to let the players go go wherever they're going to go with things. So I had a, a good idea of what they're going to run into, and I had basically scenarios. Like I knew for, there was going to be Belloc the source, the Soul Stealer. I knew Daddy was going to show up. How things unfolded, you know, really depended on the group, and I just kind of ran with that. All right, so uh, so so it really is just what they did. Oh yeah. Stop, and then the next one carries on. Yep. So so it wasn't like you know the. The, the, the kind of cliche thing where you kind of like stop okay we'll kind of edit back a bit now no no started. not at all I picked up exactly where okay where, 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 where the last group left off all right um, and it was great and there are all kinds of little sub things going on it was pretty cool so uh, um, the, the plan worked reasonably well uh, daddy dragon and and, and uh, Belloc go at it and uh, there was some scary stuff I mean this rift would open up because there was two ley lines near near where um, the cottage was was where, where, where the soul stealer lived, and uh, so the, and a dragon handle was pretty good. And, and it, but they're both getting more and more weary, and they both look pretty bad. And it's hard to tell which one's going to win this battle. And uh, finally, like the last of of the devils that Belloc was drawing through the rift are gone, and, and Belloc looks pretty shaky, and the dragon leaps on top of him and as he touches Belloc this wisp starts to form all around him and you see the dragon's essence form and, and go into the soul stealer and the dragon falls over dead and of course Belloc the soul stealer looks much more healthy and fresher. Oh, wow. Yeah and that's what the group uh, said. In fact the group had been uh, broken up only like a third of the group was, was watching this and they're like, holy crap, we've got to attack him now, we can't wait, you know, and, and so one of them runs to get the rest of the group, you know, the other three are, are like attacking this guy, which I thought, oh man, they're dead meat. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and, but it, it really panned out really well, and the rest of the group got there very quickly, but they're having a really hard time with this guy, and uh, prior to this, Mommy Dragon had kind of showed up, and she grabbed her kid, and was like, and the kid just loved the heroes. Uh, and meanwhile, because of all these battles, bear in mind, all these bat prior battles when they're saving the people yeah. from, uh, um, from 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 the demons running amok, and, and when the town got set on fire by Daddy Dragon, they make a this epic showing of putting the, the fire out. And one of the guys who was playing uh, this really arrogant, pompous wizard uh, really played it up beautifully, and and he realized he knew about the ley lines. He's like, good people of of this town. Who are already chanting his name and stuff, anyways? And, and <laughs> he's like, "Lend me your strength. Come with me." And he drew on their PPE to help extinguish the fires without using any of his own PPE, which I thought was super brilliant. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, plus the people are just in love with these guys, and they're like, "Please, please stay and rule us. You know, be our new leaders." And they're like, "Well, we'll see." <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and and uh, so uh, 
Um, they get back to uh, where, where, where the dragon has fallen and, and, and Belloc. Oh, oh, before they get there, Mommy shows up. She wants to take the kid away. Right. And she's like, I mean, eternally grateful and, and you know, I owe you big time and, and all this. And they're like, well, we could use your help fighting your, your mate. And she's like, oh, no, I'm not going up against him. And it's too dangerous, <laughs> especially with my, with my child. And they're like, and she's ready to leave. And they're like, but you owe us. And, and even the kid is like, but mommy, these people helped me. So she very grudgingly, and they gave a really good, compelling speech. Because I, I'm in big time into role playing. It's all about character and story. So mommy agrees to help. So they're in this big, big battle with, 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 with Belloc, and things are going badly. Actually, things are going quite well. Uh, they rolled a bunch of natural 20s, which I, I love role playing. I mean, just the luck of the rolls. And, and all of a sudden, things turn, and they realize their attacks aren't going through, that Belloc has put up this force field. And like, oh my gosh, now what? And he's laughing, and all of a sudden they hear Mommy Dragon up above flying ahead shout, Hit him now! And she casts a negate magic. <laughs> and the force field, and I, of course I roll for it, and the force field is gone. They're like, Hit him! I mean, it is. Every character is just blasting, you know, it's like 10 or 12 yeah. players. And uh, they're just hammering this guy. And, and again, made some really good rolls. He goes down, you know, everyone's happy. Mommy takes baby, they fly yeah. off. Um, you know, they check things out. They're 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 checking out the the cottage and stuff, and um, you know, it, it, some other subplots. That, and so that ends there. And then the next group has to deal with doppelgangers of themselves, because part of Lord Belloc's plan was to um, have these these doppelgangers take over the most important people in town. And these guys have now okay. become yeah. the most important people. And they run amok, and they have to basically kill themselves, which is pretty fun. And uh, and then it, it pretty much wraps up with uh, um, they find out that uh, this other group that still wants the kid, they don't know if the kid's gone, and they still want to get the kid, and they're like wondering, well, you know, Lord Desilk is gone, why in, and Belloc's gone now, what the heck? They find out, and this is the last big game, is they want to resurrect Lord Desilka. Oh, okay. And... and, and there's this whole plot to resurrect him, and they have to stop that. And it, it was great. It was epic. And they do stop. I thought they screwed up big time. And I thought, oh my gosh, the Silk is going to come back. He's going to kill everybody. And again, it was one of those great role playing moments where one of the players said, "Can I do this?" And I'm like, "Roll." Okay. And he did, and it just worked out great. And it was epic. People had had a lot of fun. So, so the fourth one was the the doppelganger. Fourth one was doppelgangers. Mm -hmm. Um, the, the fifth one was basically find Lord Desilka's treasure, which kind of turned into this discovery of the plot to okay. bring back Lord Desilka. And the that, sixth one was stopping that plot from yeah. happening. So did, did the guys in the fifth one have kind of the climax? Because basically you sound like there's a real climax for all the others. Did the fifth group have that big climax or was theirs... More of an investigation game. Yeah, actually, theirs turned into more of an investigation game. I feel a little bit bad about that because they had the least action of everybody. Yeah. Everyone else had these all these big epic, you know, yeah. Booms moments, and explosions. And, and, and these guys sort of didn't. And yeah, in fact, they, they were really into it. And I'm like, well, you know, time's up. We're gonna have to cut it here. It's a good place to cut it for the next group. And they're like, oh. <laughs> but they still said they had a great time, and <laughs> you know, and they did good stuff, and it was fun. So. Yeah, there's only so long you can play it. Yeah. Did uh, did anyone sit through multiple of the same like, um, like multiple of the games? I wanted a, a lot all different players or, or mostly different players. So one guy played in two of them, but so the rest were all new every them. single time. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Did uh, did anyone like really stand out? Were there like you know some guy that we were like, oh my god, I can't believe what this guy is thinking of or doing or well, you know what I mean? Well, again, this is one of the fun things for me is. There, there were a few standouts, but they all played so well. One of the things that impressed me was that they really captured the essence of the character and they were really into the role playing. Yeah. Uh, and that was wonderful. So really, for example, you didn't have anyone who played the same character in a vastly different way. Right. They really seemed to catch the essence and run with it. It was, it was beautiful. They took, took the disposition and the, yep. the background yep. and, and yep. actually tried was, to use it. You got it. Instead of yep. that, 
Because, I mean, I've been in games where, you know, they, they hand a certain player a character with a nice disposition and background and detail and, you know, insanities and all this, and the guy goes with that stuff and just plays them as a gun bunny. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You know? Nope. They, it nope. worked out great. That's awesome. Yeah, it was. It was awesome. Um, well, really I mean, was. that sounds like it was epic. I mean, it sounds like it was a great game. We still have a couple minutes left, so um, I was know that one of the things I was curious in is uh, with that costume contest, what was, uh, you know, did you li like, what was it this year? I mean, every other year I've actually been in it, but this time not only was I not in it, I missed the whole thing. Oh, that's too bad. No, I was busy in the back, so. Um, it, it was it was very good. Um, we've had you know it, it's funny the quality varies from year to year. Um, this year was pretty neat. One of the real standouts in the competition um, was uh, Scott Gibbons, who happens to be one of our, our freelancers who's contributed regularly to the Rifter. Uh, he and his entire family were here. Uh, he, he and his wife and his, his son, and his son won second place in uh, the modern category as uh, Speedy the Superhero, or Super Speedy the Superhero. Uh, and he okay. was great, and, and part of what, the costume was cool, another thing is, he, the kid had such a great attitude. Yeah. He was like, you wanna see me run around the warehouse super fast? And everyone's like, yeah! And he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it was, it was epic. <laughs> That's great. That's awesome. So, um. uh, yeah, and then his, his dad actually won uh, first place, I think it was first, place or, or something like I don't that, remember right? first place or best of show yeah and, and his costume was a little rough but it was accurate and it was good and he played an elemental fusionist okay but what really worked is he was clever enough to um, he had a bottle of water which he had this light in his, in his glove that he set up that turned uh -huh. it blue oh. and, and then he put that down and he raved his hand over this candle and it, his, his palm of his hand caught fire Wow. Yeah, it was, really, it was really great. It was really great. And then he put his hand over the, picked up the bottle and put the hand over it, and he had some kind of substance on the top floating in the water that caught fire. And he was like, the fusion of fire and water. <laughs> and everyone was like, yeah! And plus he had this big wild beard, and we're like, man, if he's willing to catch himself on uh, fire, he needs to win, you know, first place. Well. Uh, yeah, he won first place in, in the Rifts slash science fiction category. Okay. And a guy for the second time, I think in a row, dressed up as a Leyland Walker, won first place. Oh, it's won best of show. Okay. Well, wow, it sounds like it just typifies the fun that was being had. Oh, yeah. It, 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 you know, the open house is just nonstop fun and goofing around. So. Well, I mean, we're almost out of time, so I think we'll start wrapping it up there. I mean, thanks for uh, you know oh, sitting pleasure. in giving us a couple minutes. Glad I know how rough your voice is. I know how rough mine feels. And, uh, you know, hopefully later, um, you know, after this event, after a few weeks have gone by, we can get you on and, like, maybe get your Absolutely. ideas about uh, role-playing and making characters and gaming and all that good stuff. I'd be happy but, to. But for now, we should call it there. Uh, this is From the Refs. I'm Carmen Blair. Kevin Sabita. Okay, that'll be it for us. Um, please remember to like the videos, subscribe, and do us a favor and click on the advertising so I can make a few bucks off these and hopefully get another camera so we can do more of these. All right, have a good one. That was From the Rifts. See you later.